Hello, everybody. Why was the Sharon Miller era so bad? That is today's video. So let's begin. Why was the Sharon Miller era so bad? And like, what was it? Well, what is the Sharon Miller era? This era took place from 2004 to 2011. It was a dark age for Thomas and Friends. Well, who was Sharon Miller exactly? Well, Sharon Miller was a Thomas and Friends writer who wrote from series nine, who wrote from series nine through 16. These series were like really bad. They were had like useless morals. She um also wrote five specials. The Great Discovery, Hero of the Rails, Missy on the Rescue, Day the Dis Day of the Diesels, and Blue Mountain Mystery. Um uh, she was a creative producer from series thirteen and fourteen, and she was a creative producer for Hero of the Rails and Misty Island Rescue. Well people who are watching must be like, wait, I need evidence why she is so bad. And I will give you evidence of why the Sharon Miller era was a disaster. So for the Thomas fans out there, you probably know this clip. At last, Flynn found the blue engine at the works. The blue engine was Thomas. His firebox was on fire. Blue engine was Thomas. His firebox was on fire. This clip right here, <clears throat> so like I said before, how uh, the, um, uh, yeah, like, the, the writing's lazy. This is another clip that has lazy writing. Thank you, sir. Sir Topham Hat chuckled so loudly, his top hat wobbled. Thomas was puzzled. Sir Topham Hat never chuckled so loudly that his top hat wobbled, and Sir Topham Hat never called Thomas his good friend. Did you see that? <clears throat> These writers have no idea what they're doing. Tom Hat is a friend to every engine. Why would he not be a friend with Thomas? That just like, I kind of feel bad for Thomas, but the people who uh, don't really like know Thomas that much and are watching this or Tom Hat, um, like, is a good friend with Thomas because this was bad writing. Um, yeah, so that's all I want to say. Seasons 9 to 16 was terrible for Thomas. Um, it just had lazy writing and terrible, um, you know, it, it just didn't look like they were really into the script. Something that maybe people thought is was bad, well, they didn't just, like, say, like, oh my god, look how bad this is, bad writing off the bat. Maybe it didn't exceed expectations because of what happened before. Well, before this, um, in 2004-2012, before this, um, uh, stage happened, there was the classic series from 1984 to 2003, and those were so good, and this was so bad, and that's why they hated it. And it's not just the lazy writing, it was kind of like a kid's show, because back in the classic series, see, back in the classic series, um... Um, well, it wasn't really a baby show because now, because I'm, uh, from series 9 to 16, it was kind of a baby show because it was just useless morals. There were so many morals, like, it didn't kind of make any sense. The morals, like, they tried to make it too kiddie. Back in the classic series right now, they, it wasn't really, like, kiddie. For example, this episode I'm showing you right now, Edward, Gordon, and Henry, there was no really moral. Like, Gordon had a, like, little, like... He broke down, then Henry coming out of the tunnel, t and then took the express, and then he went, and then him and Edward took the express, I think, yeah, him and Edward took the express, and then they later helped Gordon, um, go back to the sheds. There wasn't, like, really a moral, like, it was just, like, a happy, like, it was just a show, you know, like, a good show, you know, like, a happy little show. And the thing that made it better was that once they ran out of ideas from the Ref Audrey's books, they still made it good because they had a good, like, management, not now, not with Sharon Miller era. <clears throat> so you see what I mean, right? There's no morals, everything is, like, fine, and just like a show. But in the Sharon Miller era, they tried to make it too easy. They're like, no, we need to make morals. No, they need to make morals. I think the Entertainment thought Thomas as a baby show, which really um, hurts the Thomas fans a lot because thomas was just something to, like entertainment really it wasn't like for morals education really 
Miller resigned after a terrible seven seasons. It was, uh, I mean, pretty bad for her and the fans. Anyway, she was replaced by, by Andrew Brenner. Um, he did pretty good, honestly. He, he did pretty good, I like him. But he was replaced by David Stoughton. And you might be wondering, wait, is Thompson Friends good again? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, Thomas and Friends is good again. From, se from seasons 9 to 16 was a total disaster. So it's good again, but you might be like, wait, um, why is um, uh, it good again? You need to give me evidence. Okay, I'll give you evidence. Well, this episode that I'm showing you right now is called PA Problems. So basically, it's about the P it's a new PA system, and it announces when what train leaves when. So um, he gets a new system, and um, uh, it gets broken. So then Edward goes out to get the old one back, and then it's everything's back to normal. See, there's like no moral basically because a PA got broken, and then Edward got, went to go get the new. Edward went to go get the old one, and he brought it back from the dump. There's not really any moral, just some entertainment thing. Yeah. So, everything's fine, except for one problem I tell me that it's definitely worse than the Chandelier, in my opinion. Edward and Henry getting replaced by Nina Rebecca. I know. But, but, but! Mattel can still save this before we get another Chandelier. I know how. Just watch this. See, look, this is Mattel's number. The, if a lot of people are watching this and do what I'm going to tell them, this is great. Listen, Mattel's number is right here. Look, all you have to do is just call this number and then c tell them Edward Henry should be in the Steam Team and Nina Rebecca be out. But if you want Nina and Rebecca to still be in the Steam Team and Edward Henry come back, that's fine. But I kind of recommend Nina and Rebecca to get out because then if they're Nina and Rebecca in, then it's just going to ruin the original Steam Team. Like, I like him more. But if you want Edward and Nina and Rebecca in, then you can do that. Anyways, just call Mattel customer service. The more and more people that complain to Mattel and want Edward Henry, back in the, Edward Henry and Toby back in the Steam Team then the more and more complaints Mattel has. Soon Mattel will have so many complaints about Edward, Henry, and Toby that they'll have to put them back in the Steam team. That's what I wanted to say. Anyways, so, yep. It's a great video on my- Thomas is a good show again. Well, is it as good as it was in seasons one to seven? No, it's not. But at least it's back right on, back on the right track. But if you can save if you call Mattel, but this is about Sharon Miller era, but don't forget the Mattel part. Anyways, Sharon Miller era, you know, it was just all about greed and laziness. Now look, I know that um, I'm probably being a bit too harsh on Sharon Miller. Look, I know she probably tried her best. Um, I know it wasn't entirely her fault. Um, I know I shouldn't, I uh, like... I'm not mad at her, I'm just like saying why. She's not a bad person, okay? Okay, I'm just saying that what she did to Thomas was bad. Like, she kind of ruined Thomas for those eight years. Otherwise, I'm not saying like she's a criminal or anything. I'm not saying she's a criminal. Um, she just kind of ruined Thomas for eight. Like, her sh writing wasn't good. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, at least Tom's back on the right track, and um,. Thank you for um, uh, watching my video. Uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Alright guys, goodbye! Guys, this is, this is totally random, but I experienced the Sharon, Sharon Miller era. Sorry about the picture quality right now, or now it's better. Um, uh, I experienced the Sharon Miller era, so um, uh, it's not how it feels. Goodbye!